<laughs> Welcome back, adventurers, to The Witcher 3. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan battle, I'd do anything. <laughs> we are attending a wedding. Okay, I wonder Come. if I can change. Time no, I cannot do that now. <laughs> I shan't stray a step from okay, side. Uh, maybe we should walk here. Uh, walk. Nice Hello, Johannes, and who is he getting wedding wedded to? Aldona. Nice, nice to meet you. Do we, do we, yes. do I introduce myself or what? Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's your snow. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlop. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes. Tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. <laughs> I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't, we don't embarrass her. Uh, we could ask how they know Shani. Tell me, Aldona. How is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come. Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't put in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you as your brother-in-law. Will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. Okay. We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their. It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. That wasn't too bad, was it? Okay, take part in the wedding activities until midnight. Oh cool, we take part. I think this will be a longer episode. <laughs> Oh, she doesn't like me. Okay. What can we do? Aha! Finally, a manly man's sport. What? Pigs? Um. What's the sport? What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose. Nay, hey, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Okay. What's the price? King of the swineherds, eh? What's this king get exactly? The king's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honor's the price. 
King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swine hunts. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain! Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Okay. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there. He couldn't chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Okay, yellow. Yellow pig. Shame there's no painter here. It's okay. You and you. Whoosh, Watch whoosh. my movement, Shani. Shoo, shoo. As a cat and sly as a fox. shoo, shoo, shoo. No, 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 no. Here, into, into the. <laughs> hey, hey, you. Pig. Come on. Pig. Go in there. Yeah, yeah. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. Yeah. Is that the pen? So, you go in. One thing. You see that, Shani? Will it stay there? Pen. Okay, now you. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. Yeah, yes, yes. Awesome. Come on. It's in. The old foolish peasants learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? <laughs> Go on, admit it. My family had many pens, <laughs> but that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. <laughs> uh, However it were, the crown's going to a good man. <laughs> and the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Yeah. Piglet. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. <laughs> Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witnessed such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Oh, man. How does my heart's captor like the uh, prize? I won for her. The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Hmm. Tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. In Geralt's name and flesh, of course, but still. Yet the more I woo you, the less you seem ready to succumb. So I ask myself, what am I missing? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everek does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> My sweet, you are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now... Last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well, don't know rightly. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? Then how? 
In Novigrad, Oxenfurt, why in Kovir as well. Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There everything will be made clear. Leski, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers. And we swore to our da on his dying day, we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Uh-oh. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you going to do there? Talk some more? Naturally. We would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I've grabbed me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence balls right over there for the taking. Bear eat your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! <laughs> Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. What? <laughs> oh, in a fixed pants. The perfect weapon for sweaty ass swineherds. Okay. For your job, you plowing gentle fuck. Oh, oh, careful. Pigs, get out of my way. Never in my okay. life have I reveled so One's fast. down. Step up. Who else wants a shit? <laughs> it is funny. <laughs> Can I? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. And I should. Ooh. Okay. Down. Easy enough. Had enough peasant spawn. Not yourself a match for a von ever a, a witcher. <laughs> Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jawed yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. <laughs> you do the explaining. Oh, all right. <laughs> you know her methods. Quite unusual. To rule a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. Well, the wedding guests are enjoying it. Um. <laughs> my dear girl, what don't I have up my sleeve? I'd gladly demonstrate. Perhaps behind the barn? Uh, I think you've demonstrated enough. Let's just enjoy ourselves, all right? You don't have all that much time left. Your wish is my command, milady. I'd never deny a maid so fair featured. Off we go. <laughs> What? Huh? Ah, so good to shake the kinks from my friends. <laughs> uh, must find more, more fun. Okay, what's there? A woman. 
I can talk to her. What will that trigger? Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a. And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. <laughs> if I was. <laughs> what? Changed your mind, my nymph? Won't you ever leave me be? Stay out of the cellar over long. Cobwebs will seal it shut. Luckily, I have a great broom. Ah, go, Naga, Naga. Can I, uh, I can use my witcher senses. What's going on here? Fishing? Are there differences in between the small dots and the big dots? Or is that just... Ah, no, they just change. Okay. Let's do that systematically. <laughs> okay, what can we do here? I want to do everything. Uh, do I talk to you? Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. <laughs> Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed oh, to mean. fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. She's a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. <laughs> I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. We poked your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. The man's got to dive in and fish it out. <laughs> Sounds fun. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid will be pleased as punch. Or it means you're a gallant foe. And all for Andy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, there's more to come. <laughs> Shani, your slipper. I shall prove <laughs> I dive to any depth for you. I mean, we are still wearing our underwear, so why did they look that weird? They, there's nothing to see. <laughs> but I like the oh Observe, my. Shani. My eyes are glued. Okay, there it is. Oh, there are so many, though. Do we get them all? <laughs> One shoe. Oh, that's it. Oh. Oh, no, we can take that, too. Now we get all the shoes and all the ladies. How about that? Only two shoes. Ah, there's another one. Haha, <laughs> that's Shani's one, isn't it? The red food. Okay. I got them all. Damn mucky that pond. Sank in up to my armpits. <laughs> uh, I see no <laughs> amount of silk could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes ever tossed in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. 
Don't be jealous, Shani. <laughs> that was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm -hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today, they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster, until we expire. <laughs> guests the witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner Shana musicians something lovely for the loving couple at last what's he doing here loving embrace come Shani it's time you discovered my romantic side the guy in the background <laughs> Yourself, the lord of the dance. Hmm. I mean, he wants to persuade you. If you're playing him, not Geralt. They say dance is a mere foretaste of more intimate interaction. Who says this? I do, for one. <laughs> I do wonder what you mean by intimate interaction. Oh, it's a fascinating process. One you, the scholar and medic, might find especially interesting. I'd gladly explain it in detail, but it's horribly loud in here. Mm. See the ladder? Leads to a loft. Surely there we'd not be disturbed while investigating the nature of intimate interaction. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. No how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. Say whatever you please, but you should keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Um. Uh. I, I just couldn't resist. Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just next time, don't lunge at me like that. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time I shall ask. Oh no, I now have to Shana, curse the thing again. May I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, 
I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. I probably wouldn't have forced myself on you. Yeah, exactly. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me angry. But what? Don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but. But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Perhaps a bit of thanks is in order. Seems I've snared the little Robin for you. You can shut up now. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Happened to see the man who announced our... your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me. But we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin. Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Yeah, me too. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. Promise mm -mm. you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah, I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. Whew. Okay. The night is young. We dance. Come, let's do something wild. That was funny. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> I'm not controlling it. I'm doing nothing. <laughs> Yeah, and I have my, my mouse cursor. So, um, I think I will save and restart, then it's normally gone, so I'm back in a second. And I'm back without a cursor. Ah, that's awesome. Very nice. So, what happened there? Why did he start dancing? How did we do that? I have no idea. <laughs> I can hop, but I cannot dance anymore. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's enjoy ourselves. It's so funny. Okay. What are you doing? Now there's another... Oh, that's Gontor Dim. I am not going to talk to him until I have done everything. Right? Okay. What else can we do? What's with these? Do you need help? Shani, darling, oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her, wild revelry. So I hired a, a true fire eater, you know, wool scope, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear, diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. That'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. We'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers has gone as last Yule's pudding. Rooms out and chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. Uh, yeah, sure. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the fire eater arrived around noon, ate his fill of food, not fire, and went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. <laughs> that horror demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn fool dog. How can you know? 
but it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. There'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. I shall find him. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is. I will find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The flame gopher, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you and hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witch of London. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the fire meter. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally-ho. Adventure <laughs> awaits. Tally-ho. <laughs> Uh, okay, we do have the Witcher senses, so it's no problem. And I'm using it to find the fire swallower. Okay. Tracks. Got him. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. And judging by its house, Demon is a Hulk. But beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. <laughs> its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. This is a huge bone. A bone not so clean. I've only ever seen two like this. One in an antel. The other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. <laughs> the hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. It's most probably a tiny dog, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's follow it. I hope we can do everything. Following it's some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think okay. I'll wait here. Wonderful, That's fine. my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. Uh oh. What is that? Oh, uh, a broken branch. Yeah. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Huh. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, uh, there is joy in this ferreting. That's a cap. A spark spitter's cap, if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come, chap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions, then. Our magician is fat and a coward. <laughs> okay. I hope we keep all these things. That would be so funny. There's the dog. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Uh, yeah. We call it. Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. He can't, can he? Huh. Leave it alone. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so. Right? No. Demon, doghouse now. Who? Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun. Have it at the wedding.
Climb down. Man-eating beasts gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. <gasps> and he dies. He broke his neck. No. This jester is <laughs> drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. <laughs> I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. But I was fleeing a noun. Hound? But it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. <laughs> Your cap, sir. Lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Ah, oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck it has. I'll wear it for every performance. Hmm. You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Now what have become of a fire eater who paid no heed to caution? Hmm. I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh... He has a you point. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. Can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. <laughs> Standing straight ain't a requirement. <laughs> I guess so. This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire-guzzling trickery, how does it work? Oh, they toss me out the guild if I told. Except if I took you on as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drank it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. <laughs> I got a special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, but just about enough of this. First they release the ounce, then come and steal my lead, and now insults. I'm done here. Goodbye. No! Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Um. Now, you're gonna forget everything you've seen, said, and heard in the woods. Wouldn't a smack upside the head help the matter? Put the cheating coward back in his place. No need. You'll go back to the wedding and show everybody your tricks. Oh, your charlatan's tricks. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. Whew. That was wedding, close. Then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. Okay. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these Oh man. Woods. He's running. <laughs> yes. bear. What? Bear that. As much as your cock's at ten hide, you blind fool. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh, he can, he can get hurt? That's bad. Oh, I can get hurt too. I mean, we are fighting as Vladimir and he can't fight well, right? Tell me, are bears often boar-shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see? Besides, I'm a fire eater, not some damn naturalist. <laughs> Indeed, you are not, master. Uh, will you 
if I fail to ask, what do they call you? David Altersborough. Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close, and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. <laughs> a man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now. Uh, my first Witcher contract. Done. Fire eater <laughs> found. His ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a Witcher for damn certain. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, what else can we do? Oh, here. Can we drink? Oh, cards. Dang. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. Your need for insults? I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and Why not? stop talking. Let us play, <laughs> gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. Uh, I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. Are we sure about that? Okay, monster. Yeah, why not? It's my best deck, anyways. What are we using here? Double the strength of all close combat. That's useful. Okay. Northern realms. We have the Arakasas. A vampire. Uh, the crones. Very nice, very nice. It's not bad. Let's maybe change up the grave hack. Oh, Cirilla! That's awesome! I think I keep it like that. That should do the trick. Oh no, they have spies, of course. Hmm. How do we start? Normally I start off with the vampires because they have um, the lowest count. He passed. So he tries to win with just a majority of cards. And that's all he can do, right? Against the monster deck. Hm. We 
cannot get back. Oh, we can. Okay, we can get back one. But he might have many more spies. What's his ability? No, no, his ability. Destroy your enemy's strongest siege units. I, I'm fine with that. I don't have siege. <laughs> he can destroy whatever he likes. Okay. We can lose one round. But we can tickle him a bit. But the uh, problem is he does have more cards than us. Hmm. Or should we go all in? We don't have a good weather. That's risky with a monster deck. So we shouldn't go all in. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? here then he has to play at least one more card and then I can win the last round with these cards and a horn or I could play the horn now then pass and see if he can deal with that that might actually be a good idea what will he do? Okay, that's a good start. But I'm passing now. And just keep my cards and see what he does. He has to win. Okay. Not too bad. Now we're 6-6. Six, six. Oh. And he gets a card, right? I forgot, but I keep one. That might get dicey now. Mm. He has good cards. We play her last, I think, but problem is that we play first. Or we are one card lower. Hmm. Let's play that. Okay. Not bad. Now the Kraken. Well, uh, no. Oh gosh, it's not the Kraken. <laughs> uh, we get back the Fiend. There's the Kraken. Okay. Two more cards. He cannot play his special ability. I mean, he can, but uh, it won't do anything. If he has a weather card, we are screwed. Oh gosh. Last one. Uh, what?
didn't help him. Wow. That was close. Your tits up, mate. Slap those asses ears on your asses noggin. Such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture, too. I know of other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <laughs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding! Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Cool. The lark, this but we didn't get anything. <laughs> okay. What else can we do? What's up here? Hello. What's happening here? No, it's not that. Is it the table? Huh. Weird. Oh. I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny naturally. Oh, we get drunk and fast. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Oh gosh, something. Ah, okay, we sobered. Sobered up quick. Uh oh, do we make a puking contest here or what? Oh, it's her, I think, again. Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. <laughs> well, I just could just talk to her. Not at all. I like so, my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Um, so some of these activities are just uh, talking to people. So not everything is a mini game. <laughs> Nice. You can take everything. Okay, something is in here. Is there another dance? Oh. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, he shaved it. Oh, I can drink again. Your health, Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. <laughs> to the young lovers, may their loins never do. May they sire many of them, and reap gobs of coin. Okay. Can we dance some more? No, I think that's it. Okay, well, well. Oh, can we get up there? I don't think so. I think the only thing left is talking to Gondoro Ding. Right? Can I look at it on my map? I can. Yeah. Take part in the wedding activities. Yeah, I think that's just what it is. Oh, wait. Huh. Maybe I can drink? It seems there are two activities, but... Nah, I don't think so. Gontro Dim is just another activity. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I beg to differ, but... You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. 
You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time. Touch it. Let you sniff it. Stroke it, even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shai. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. I seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all geared from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like me. Okay, here we go. I mean, he knows everything, but we can Wait. ask. You can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning... I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Hmm. What is not true? Prove it. Do not listen to this. Let's try. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Ah, of right. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the left. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, by the way, all gears are much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him? As he seems to have been to you. He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgierd visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. Is it though? Don't let it go. Kid was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. So most probably he died he lied to him and yeah most probably he told the guys who killed him where he is hiding right okay what else can we do ah the capping ceremony okay let's join i'll leave you for a moment 
As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the Cathy. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. Oh gosh. Geralt, there's no need. <laughs> no need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. Or tell me. Who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farmhands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles, am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the caffing. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> All the maids join in the caffing. What a weird You're speech. A too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. The caffing times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance. Out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple, they give them a few weeks And we'll toast the lovely pair with each pair of puppy cheeks Don't you mind the song, we all sing to be on behind We sing so we can empty yet another sign Brides won't hold eternal, my good best beware For she'll make you a frugal in the coming That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Gear's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Not as dirt, but good. What did he write? A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance. Their hair swirling freely. Their bodices undone. Their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light, a 
a team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more, or two more, or as many as you'll give. <laughs> you seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Garrett think about that? You gave your word. Shawnee, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. You stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> oh gosh, that's his real face. We see it for the first time. He has power over the dead. Gods, what is this? Oof. What did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see. So... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens, I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. He's so creepy! I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. Hey, hey, hey. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. I wonder if this wedding ceremony has uh, actual roots in Eastern Europe wedding ceremonies. That would be cool to know. I guess so. I'm quite sure of it, to be honest. Okay, a midnight clear. Well, I think uh, now it's our time to feast and uh, we will do th so in the next episode. This one got very long, but I didn't want to cut the story of our dear ghost here. So yeah, that's that. But in the next one, we will have fun with our Geralt and maybe we can sway Shani. Maybe, we'll see.
<laughs> Thank you so so much for watching and celebrating with our couple here. And uh, yeah, until the next one. Goodbye.